Hey guys, welcome to Strong with Raj. No nonsense strength training. So this session I cracked 190 kg and quite happy with it. Slowly I'm getting close to my road. I would not call it a goal. I'm getting on my road to 200 kg. And uh, it has been a bit up and down kind of a journey. But uh, it won't be called a journey if there is no up and down, if there's no turn if there's no getting lost and being disoriented, losing the sight of your goal perhaps. So, so far, so good. But I must say that from last few sessions, from last few videos that I've made, a strange realization has started to happen. And it has happened more because of the gym that I'm in right now. Uh, this is around 8.30 in the night. There is literally no one in the gym. And it is uh, relatively a new gym to me, and I'm loving every moment. I don't know for how long, how good for how long I did not uh, explore and discover this little gym. There's this little shutter door, and um, I finished my work at 8.30 in the night. That is another thing which has really positively impacted my time for myself in the gym. It's been a while that my girlfriend has said to me that I'm a lone wolf, that I am. But we live in a strange time. I call myself Lone Wolf. I train all by myself and I broadcast and um, publish my videos online. So literally, um, not in the real sense, I'm a lone wolf. But I really love training on my own. Um, it doesn't mean that I avoid people, but I did mention this in, in my last video, the immersion that happens. And uh, from last few sessions especially by being in this gym I have come to the point where I have found something to appraise myself of self appraisal to be self motivated self driven is a very rare quality I must say and I have been able to keep myself motivated without any external source of motivation in my little journey, in my little own, you know, pursuit of lifting heavy and getting strong. But it didn't occur to me for a very long time and it did to me only recently and hence why it's kind of a self-discovery. Around 2021, 22, I think was my best period or quote unquote my golden era of my lifting. My numbers were the best I was very, very injury-free. I was doing ice bath regularly. And my squats had gone up to 225 for a double or a triple. And I was watching those videos not long ago, and that was in my old house where I was training in my garage gym, a very flimsy, riggedy-looking squat rack that I had bought from Aldi. And I said, wow, I've done all these things by myself. And... One aspect of, of that is how dangerous it is to get under a bar which is twice your body, body weight and more. So I was, let's say, 100 kg and I was scoring 220, 210 all by myself. And things could have gone wrong, but it never did because I know how to do things safely. Uh, I always, almost always use safety arms, as you can see in this video. I have almost always... Uh, felt embarrassed and uncomfortable when somebody else is giving me some good words and appreciation and appraisal. I have hated it and I still do. And I suppose over the years I've become more mature to accept criticism and I look forward to it and welcome it. But I've never been able to realize something within myself and appraise myself, pat my own back. It is not the same thing as blowing your own trumpet it's not quite the same i think one of the tools we can give to ourselves in our journey in our pursuit of whatever it is is just to look back and appreciate your own effort hence self appraisal you guys might be doing something which involves a team of people your family members and there also it is important that you give yourself this opportunity to appraise because Let's be honest, we all 
do self criticize we are the best critics of ourselves we always perhaps do it too much this i think is 170 and i think is 150 so i was thinking how in the last few weeks especially because of this gym i'm all by myself and every achievement every hurdle made me realize wow i'm doing it all by myself but i've been doing it from last 7 years so i'm glad that i've come to this conclusion or realization that self appraisal is very important and you should not uh, deprive yourself of saying some good words to yourself but only after it has happened for a consistent and long period of time not just every day self pumping yourself there has been times where i have been lazy for week or two or more than that and it is not good going you know but you know you get over it and you get back back, back on the horse so to speak and that is one reason also um perhaps i have stumbled upon this discovery of self appraising myself uh, last 2 3 weeks i has been a bit lazy because of the change of weather and another big reason is that i live on my own there is no one that i have to be accountable to and that is something that one has to be very careful of when you on your own you can drift to bad habits because you have no one to be accountable for no one to face when you go home to explain things and i make sure that i keep myself to face myself about things that i want to do about things that means a lot to me and for me it is my lifting for me it's not doing exercise to be healthy and fit for me it is the time when i'm the most focused and intense people might call it hard or tough but for me it's not and i have started to give myself some good words started to pat my back and i hope you guys do that too overall this journey started at about 120 kg i started my squats and i have said it repeatedly many times i have done 200 plus squats before in the past many many times but recent events my pain my niggle my injury and uh i spent some time doing only olympic weightlifting where i was doing very light stuff i i lost my squat which is 200 kg and i cannot that just not acceptable and hence it was um, a journey to regain my squat of one no oh, sorry 200 kg so that's 170 single coming up Yeah, I'm I'm experiencing this really big shift of the knees forward at the bottom which is coming from my hips not being very stable and right at the bottom um it's everything is going forward and I did hit that safety arm and uh, that happens in uh, in this video for 190 kg as well and I bump the safety bar but I was happy with that you know you, you can't be perfect and I have to tell you this never ever in my mind it comes to me that uh, I am all by myself in the gym and should I attempt this heavy thing if something goes wrong never even if I want to think it does not come to my mind because you cannot have a single what is the word iota or ounce of doubt in your mind when you're trying to go for something all that is done in your preparation your practice your preparation your build up you set up the bar you set up the squat you set up safeties put your shoes on and you do your warm ups after warm ups after warm ups and you prepping and you prepping that is the power of preparation and i think it's a building block is the foundation of the appraisal that i was talking about if you put your work in the boring work of just getting up and doing your warm ups maybe doing your stretches after after the workout whatever it is you will quite organically 
very sincerely and in the most authentic way will do the self appraisal self appraisal is part of self audit and self uh, critique as well but i must say it feels amazing to have come across this self appraisal that i am you know patting my back which i haven't done at all ever i just came did my job and i suppose for everyone the timeline is different maybe some people by might do it earlier maybe in a year maybe in 6 months it's took it's taken me a while but i wasn't missing it almost exclusively i have done all my lifting session by myself i don't like to have people around me uh, spotting me for my squats like they do in powerlifting competition i don't know how people squat when somebody is standing right behind them and uh, my weights are decent enough to do that i don't i have never uh, ever done that for my clients i never stand so right behind them i just tell them what to do if you fail you put your safety bars how to drop the bar safely and you're done so i think a combination and culmination of all these practices you know getting my belt right my shoes my socks all this has combined to give me this effect this realization this self appraisal and i i really hope that uh, if you are on a journey you are not depriving yourself of that even if it is a workout that hasn't gone well even if it is a workout that you did not do but you wanted to do it is a step in right direction even if you are thinking about doing a workout the night before and you don't do it fine you will have one of those days but you will see the power of self appraisal and this power of the self appraisal will not come if you haven't put the effort as simple as that but it is not the eventual re- reward the reward is the effort the reward is the process the reward is the action itself there is no do it now and reward now. it is the act here we go 160 I the new thing is that I've got a mirror in front of me these days I've, I've I haven't done it much but in this gym there's a mirror and I don't mind it I uh, pretty pumped 190 there on the right side I hit the bar on the safety bar but it's it's okay i'm happy with that it's no biggie so yeah um very accomplished session and uh looking good well not looking good right now <laughs> after the set i was pretty tired i think there was some pain a little bit of pain in the hip and uh, otherwise i was feeling fine recently the big heavy um uh, sessions do get me absolutely wasted i mean there was a time i could do 90 190 kg set of 3 then one more set of 3 nowadays i just one set just gets me absolutely pancake but I, that's another aspect i'm trying to highlight in my videos where how i am after i do my sessions just so that you guys can see <laughs> oh, what a struggle it is to finish a finish a squat uh, set and uh, what you go through it's it's yeah probably perhaps that's the whole thing of uh, self appraisal and here i am that's a new thing i'm doing these days it's happening quite naturally there's no one around seeing me doing these moves so <laughs> anyway guys i hope you have gotten closer at least to realize that there is an ability you guys have which is to appraise yourself and don't wait for anyone to do that for you and that will happen only because of your efforts your actions all right guys I will sign off and see you next time.